Welcome everyone to our channel Amazing World of Science and I am Dr. Radha Subramaniam, your science teacher. So in our last class we had already finished the types of chemical reaction the first two and today we will be doing displacement reactions. So I hope you all understood the previous portion those who have not watched that video can watch it again and then come back to that. Uh, so we will start with displacement reaction. So here. Uh, this is uh, NCERT class 10 chapter 1. Uh, first uh, this diagram you just can watch it, uh, we have got a stand here and uh, this is a test tube and in a thread we are keeping some iron nails inside a copper sulphate solution. Okay, so iron nails dipped in copper sulphate solution. So we will watch what is going to happen. Now after some time uh, if you take out the iron nail from the copper sulphate solution you can see that the iron nail becomes brownish in color and the blue color of copper sulphate solution is fading. Okay, why does it happen? So, here the chemical reaction taking place in this activity is C iron plus copper sulphate giving iron sulphate and copper. So, what you can watch here is that this copper is going out of copper sulphate and iron is in turn combining with sulphate ion forming iron sulphate. So, you can see that iron has displaced or removed another element. Okay. Displaced means it took or it removed copper from copper sulphate okay. and this reaction is what we call as displacement reaction and uh, we are having other examples of displacement reaction zinc plus copper sulphate gives zinc sulphate plus copper. See here copper is moved out of this copper sulphate and zinc combines with sulphate and forms zinc sulphate then lead plus copper chloride will give lead chloride plus copper and uh, you know zinc and lead are more reactive elements than copper that is why they displace copper from its compound because the less reactive element will be replaced by the more reactive elements in such reactions that is what we call displacement reaction clear ok. Now we will see what is meant by double displacement reaction. Okay, now, here a small activity they are saying that you take 3 ml of sodium sulphate solution in a test tube and another test tube you take 3 ml of barium chloride solution. Then you mix two solutions what can you see? So, here see there are two test tubes and uh, one is having uh, solution of so, uh, sodium sulphate another containing barium chloride. Okay. Now, if you mix these two what will happen? So, you can see a white substance which is insoluble in water. What is meant by insoluble? You can see that white color, you know, just like you see that uh, curd in water, you know, white color will be seen precipitate. So, this insoluble substance that is what we call as precipitate. So, any reaction that produces a precipitate, you can also call it a precipitation reaction. Okay, now, what is the equation for this reaction? Na2SO4 plus BaCl2 gives BaSO4 plus NaCl. Okay, so, sodium sulphate with barium chloride will give you barium sulphate and sodium chloride. So, with simple activity you understood what is meant by double displacement reaction. So, what uh, exactly causes this uh, reaction? Because you know the white precipitate of barium sulphate is formed by reaction of sulphate ion and barium ion and the other product formed is sodium chloride which remains in the solution. Okay. So, such reactions in which there is exchange of ions between the reactants are called double displacement reaction. Okay. So, similar activities are given here which you can go through. Now, we can see one another concept oxidation and reduction. So, just what you have to do is you take a china dish and you just heat some copper powder in it. Okay, you can see that the you know china dish which contains copper powder this is a wire gauze just a wire mesh net like thing and this is a tripod, tripod means three leg stand and this is a burner. Okay, now, what you have to do is when you heat it you can see that the surface of copper powder becomes coated with black copper oxide and what is this black substance formed? Why this is formed? Because oxygen combines with copper to form copper oxide when you heat it. See copper is there when you heat it oxygen will mix with copper and form copper oxide. Suppose if hydrogen gas is passed over this 
heated uh, material copper oxide then the black coating on the surface will turn brown as the reverse reaction takes place and you get copper see copper oxide plus hydrogen when you heat it you will get copper plus water. So, what do you understand from this is that if a substance gains oxygen during reaction we call it oxidation and if a substance lose oxidation oxygen during a reaction it is said to be reduced ok. So, the hydrogen is gaining oxygen and that is getting oxidized. So, the one element which gains oxygen it is oxidized and in other words one reactant will get oxidized but the other gets reduced during a reaction. Such reactions are called oxidation reduction reaction or we call it by another name redox reaction see oxidation again same equation you can uh, represent both oxidation and reduction uh, here CuO plus H2 O gives Cu plus H2O. So, H2 becoming H2O because H2O is H2 you know it accepts one oxygen atom. So, it forms H2O that is oxidation adding of oxygen here uh, CuO, CuO loses oxygen and becomes copper that is reduction. So, we are having some other examples for redox re reaction ZNO plus C gives ZN plus CO MnO2 plus HCl gives MnCl2 plus H2O plus Cl2 ok. So, this is these are all simple uh, reactions and with these equations easily you can understand uh, what is meant by oxidation reduction uh, what is meant by redox reaction and all these concepts. And uh, uh, then now we have got something known as corrosion. So, what is corrosion you can see that you know when iron articles are uh, shiny when you get it new, but what happens uh, when uh, you know, it gets coated with reddish brown powder when you keep it in air for some time. This process we call it as rusting of iron. Some other metals are also rusted in this manner. Why does this happen? See when a metal is attacked by substances like moisture, acids and all that it gets corroded ok and this process is called corrosion and the black coating on uh, silver and green coating on copper all these are examples are examples of corrosion. You see you keep an iron nail outside for some time and you know bright iron nail becomes you know just powdery you know, brown substance flaky substance is formed on top of it that is what we call it corrosion. You know, it causes damage to car bodies, bridges, iron railings, ships and uh, all objects made of metals especially made of iron and corrosion is a serious problem and uh, every year enormous money is uh, spent to re replace damaged iron. And finally, we will end this lesson by uh, learning what is meant by rancidity. See just have you smell or tasted uh, fat uh, containing food material left for a long time. What happens is that you know when fats and oils are oxidized they become rancid and their smell and taste change. So, usually substances which prevent oxidation that is antioxidants are added to food containing fats and oil. So, keeping food uh, in airtight containers helps to slow down oxidation ok. So, normally the manufacturers usually uh, use uh, flesh bags of chips with gas such as nitrogen to prevent the chip getting oxidized. Hope you understood this lesson really well. And once we get uh, finished with this lesson, we will move on to the next one. Uh, so, I expect you all to read this lesson thoroughly and uh, try to attempt the questions uh, given here. And uh, we will just uh, later on practice or I will show you the answers to the difficult questions at a later stage. Ok, I hope that uh, uh, you enjoy studying this lesson with me and uh, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel amazing world of science and you share it with your friends and uh, with that we will wind up the session for today. Thanks for watching.